What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're gonna make Korean chicken. This is my mother-in-law's recipe. So it's really, 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 really good. So come over here and show you what we need. First of all, we need about, this is about two and a half, maybe three pounds of drumettes, chicken drumettes. Get that anywhere. So we need granulated California, well, granulated garlic. Uh, sugar, green onions, sesame seeds, and cornstarch, flour, this is kosher salt, I think you can use any salt but we got kosher and we got soy sauce. So basically what you need to do Is wash your hands first. You gotta have clean hands. <laughs> One second. Now I'm good. I gotta take my my ring off since I'm gonna get dirty. Okay. First of all, what you need to do. This is our need to wash your drumettes. These are already pre-washed, so. It is drying out here in the sink right now. And what you're gonna need, um, basically the recipe is four tablespoons of flour, eight tablespoons of cornstarch, four tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of uh, salt, one tablespoon of sesame seeds, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and two and a half tablespoons of soy sauce two bundles of green onions, and two eggs. The eggs we're going to add at the end. So first of all, you need to cut your <coughs> onions, your green onions, really small. Probably about a you know, quarter inch. It's about that size. But for now, um, I'm going to cut these up, and I'll get back with you guys. And the most important thing I forgot to mention was first, um, what you would do is um, take the bowl and um, take all the dry ingredients first, mix them in, put them in the bowl, and then we'll need to whisk it, and then add the, the wet ingredients next after that. Um, so I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that. But as you can see, I just finished cutting the onions. So it's nice and thin. So that's two bundles right there. So let's start off with four tablespoons of flour. About one tablespoon. And before heaping, uh, tablespoons. One. Next, two tablespoons of cornstarch. Oh, I'm sorry, eight tablespoons. Next is four tablespoons of sugar. That right here. One, two, three, four. Next, one tablespoon of salt. And 
Is that one tablespoon of um, garlic powder? So that's everything for other dry ingredients. Next, need to whisk it. So that's everything right there. Just make sure everything's nice and mixed together. Alright, that should be good right there. Table, two and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. onions that we have cut up here and then add that to the mix. Let's see here. Next would be the two eggs. All right. Follow me this way. the wet and dry ingredients together. There we go. This will take a while. Let's make sure everything's nice and mixed together. And one more ingredient that I said um, on the list uh, list of ingredients, but I forgot to add in there is one tablespoon of sesame seeds. So there's one tablespoon. And then also, I used a, a whisker, a whisk to mix it. Um, I think better yet, you should be, you should use a, a fork. Um, so let me go ahead and mix this. Use a fork. And let me grab the fork, like I said. <laughs> Mix it up nice. All right. So next, what we're going to do is take our chicken and put it in the, add it to the bowl. And we're going to mix everything together. That's where it gets nice and dirty. Use your hands. everything to the bowl. Actually, yeah, this is about two and a half pounds of chicken drumettes. Now this is where you get 
nice and dirty. Make sure you get it all over the chicken. Get your hands all the way to the bottom and get the ingredients. Alright, now we're back. And so this is what it's going to look like after you um, mix everything together. Just need to make sure everything gets, all the drumettes get coated. And what we're going to do next is go ahead and, and saran wrap the top of it. And next what we're going to do, because this has to sit overnight. This isn't a recipe that you can just mix together and eat that same day. This has to sit um, overnight, 24 hours in the fridge. So, and then when you're ready, go ahead and deep fry it. But for now, this is what it looks like for now. Until tomorrow, um, I'll make sure to have the ingredients down below in the description box so you guys can follow along and make this yourself. But until tomorrow, this is it. Alright, stay tuned for the finished product. Korean chicken. Hey guys, we're back. So back to the chicken. Um, last we did, we put saran wrap on the on the chicken to, and let it sit overnight. And here's the chicken. Let me close the fridge so yeah we had had this sit in the fridge overnight um, so everything will just let marinate and we can see all that it looks good right now and what we did was took our little pot here and filled it with vegetable oil about looks like it's about halfway so right now we have it on medium and we're gonna wait till this bad boy starts starts bubbling for it to get ready so we can start putting in the chicken. Be back, stay tuned. All right, now I'm just testing the oil. Seems it's pretty hot or warm enough. Let's go ahead and test that out by going and submerging one chicken, a drumette I should say. There we go. Look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and put four in there. And then we started off. We started off um, heating the oil up on, on high. Now we got, we got it going. Kind of reduce the heat down to about medium, medium to low. The way everything cooks nice and slow and evenly. So right now it's just under there, just cooking. I'll be right back. It's slowly getting there guys. And it brown nicely. Got it on um, medium heat, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, you don't want it to splatter too much, and then you also don't want it to cook too fast, where the insides are gonna um, still be uncooked. So, cook it on medium and slow. It's the best way to go. Honestly, I've been I was, when I was at work, I was thinking about this recipe all day. I was thinking about. Getting it in the hot oil how it is now and eating it. Honestly, this is my first time making it, so so far so good. As I'm making um, these recipes for you, vlogging them for you, this um, the majority of them are going to be my first time cooking them for you. So I'm learning, I'm teaching you, and I'm learning at the same time. It's awesome. It's turning nice and golden brown still got a little ways to go but we're almost done 
Stay tuned. All right, guys. So it looks like one of them might be ready. The other ones are just about done, but I don't want to overcook this drumstick. But look at that! My goodness. That's one. <laughs> This one's just about done too. Just a few more minutes, maybe a couple. This is almost done too. All right, guys, I'm getting excited. Stay tuned. So we got four that are ready so far. And this is what they look like. Yeah, I put. Um, paper towel on the bowl. That way it'll soak up some of the extra oil. And I got four more submerged under there. Cooking away. I think the hardest part of this recipe is actually waiting and cooking and waiting. Cooking and waiting and waiting and waiting. I want to eat them right now. <laughs> They look so good, and they are, trust me. So here you go guys, here's um, my recipe for Korean chicken wings. Nice golden brown, very crunchy and juicy inside. And just wanted to thank my mother-in-law, Oda, for giving me the recipe. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.